Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a fun Friday video and we are going to do a get ready with me and this is the look. If you um, think you might want to try this look, then stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. I have already primed my face with my Stravectin Blur, Line Blur Factor and my Marine Boost. We are today using for our foundation, we're going to use the mixture, the HD, I use one full dropper of the HD liquid coverage from Catrice, and my color is Sand Beige, and then the M Misha, it's by Misha, um, Perfect Cover BB Cream, and number 23. I'm just going to dab this on. And I'm going to use my Japanese brush because I love it. It just gets it done really quick. And I'm all about quick, especially now since I'm trying to get ready to go to California. I have like a gazillion things to do every day. And I have to go see my mom every afternoon because she freaks out and thinks I'm never coming back if I miss a day. Because I did miss Saturday. When I got there on Sunday, she was like, Oh, you're back. I thought you weren't coming back. And I told her, it's like, I can't come every single day. But I actually do come every single day. And I'm just going to push it in. Just to add a little moisture back in and to... Get it in the places that the brush, you know, it's a brush. Today I'm going to use my shape tape because I just go back and forth. I really like the new Born This Way. I probably won't purchase shape tape again. I'll probably purchase that one if I ever run out. I mean, I do have a lot right now. But, I mean, I still like the shape tape, but I do think I like the other better. I don't think the other has quite as good a coverage, but it's easier to work with. Do you guys try and finish my sentences because I can't rethink really of the word? A lot. I notice that when I'm editing, it's like, what is wrong with you? I'll be like trying to figure out what word I want to say. That's what I'd be doing if I was watching somebody that did what I did. Be like foundation, honey, or concealer, or whatever I'm trying to think of. I'm going to contour my nose. This is my new Japanese baking. It came in a set of two and it was called Baking Duo. And of course, I don't use it for what it says. That's crazy. But I love it for this. I'm just going to use this Brighten Up. Um, this is by Essence.
and I kind of pull it up on the side of my nose a little just to blend in that contour that I just put on. And then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And that is how I get rid of the leftovers from that brightener too. I just fluff right over them. Now I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the color of bronze. Er, and just bronze that up a little bit. Brontour. I'm brontouring. Which means I'm contouring and bronzing at the same time with the same product. And somebody asked me about my tan. Was I going to do a video on it? No, I'm not going to do a video on it because I only use one product. I haven't tried a bunch of products. The product I use is the Saint, Saint Moritz. I got that because, and it's in the dark because it was on sale. Buy one, get one free. And I just haven't tried other products. I'd like to try that dripping gold that Casey Holmes said was so good. But when I went to the site, it was sold out, of course, because she said it was so good. So I won't be trying that. Next we're using my blush is the Dallas, and it's kind of a brownie peach. It looks really, it looks brown, but when you put it on, watch. It's kind of a rosy, dusty. I really like it because it's a little bit shiny, it's a little bit brown, and yet it's a little bit pink. And it's by Benefit. And then for my highlight, I've been using this all the time, the Catrice Champagne Campaign. And I love it because you can just go crazy. It's just so awesome. It's not blinding at all. And I'm, not, I'm going to put it on my nose with my finger and my cupid's bow with my finger because it works so much better than with the brush. Then I'm going to take my dual fiber brush and just blend all that stuff that I just put together on. And we're done. Now for the eyes. We are moving on to the eyes. I thought today we would use the Modern Renaissance palette because she's come out with that new palette. Nervina, I think, something like that. And I haven't liked the last two palettes that she came out with. So I thought I would try this one and see if I still love it. Or And she's changed it. Or if I just am different now and I don't love her stuff anymore. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to go in with the Tempura right here. This lightest color just all over the lid. Just to get a nice smooth palette. The next color we're going to use is the color Warm Top, and it is right here, and that is what I'm going to use as my transition color. It is a little bit dark, but I don't care. I'm just going to do it, because that's what we're going for today. We're just... This is a nostalgic look for the Renaissance palette. I'm just going to keep working that one in there. And then I'm going to pull it down here onto the outer corner. Actually, I'm going to pull it like halfway across the lid. Because we're going to add more color. 
Okay, for our next color, we're going to go in with with the color. It's this one right here, this lighter purple one right there. It looks like it says Bon Fresco. And yes, there is a lot of kick up in her palette. But good color too. Now, I think I'm going to go in with some concealer. I am going to use the creaseless concealer and I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, I try to do that trick that Nicole Guerrero does. It doesn't work for me. When I look up, it doesn't make a dot. So I just have to cut my crease the way I can. So I'm just going to put this. all the way up in the center. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with this Vermeer right here. And I'm going to put that right on top of that concealer. And we'll see just how creaseless this creaseless stays. Then I'm going to take the brush that I used for that lavender one, and I'm just going to blend this right here. Let me get a little more. Okay, I'm going to go back in, undo the bottom lash, and I'm not lash, I'm going to do under my eye with, I'm going to go in first with the warm top that I used in my crease, and put that all the way across. And then I'm going to go in with the lavender and push it a little bit higher near the lash line. And only go in about halfway, a third of the way. And now we're going to go in with, with the L'Oreal pencil and push line my upper. And to push line, you just push on your lid so that it kind of turns your lash inside out a little, just a little bit. And then you just draw between your lashes. And your finger is kind of a buffer above it in case, see, like I wrote on my finger, better that than my lid. And then I'm going to take my flat brush. This is just a flat, um, they call them eyeliner brushes in the e.l.f. brand. This one is from an eyebrow kit. But they both work. And then I'm just smudging it back and forth to blend out that liner I just put between the lashes. And I pull it up a little 
onto my lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Epic Ink Liner because this is kind of a smoky eye, so we want a little drama. Just like that. Best tip I can give you, stop while you're ahead, <laughs> always, because you can correct and correct and correct and correct, and it just gets worse and worse and worse, so stop while you're ahead. Now, I am going to put some purple liner on my waterline on the bottom, just because it's pretty. This is L'Oreal 2. Okay, I am going to go off camera and do my brows and lashes and I'll be back. Okay guys, this is the final look. I have added my Cabral eyebrows and I used Laura Geller Lash Boss mascara and I put on double wispies from Ardell. That's all I did. Oh, and then my lipstick, I used my Essence 04 Mauved In, and I put a little bit of this Physician's Formula. I really like this stuff. Organic Wear Lip Treatment. I put that on first, and then I rub it in, and then I, I kind of dab it off because I don't want too much on. And then I put my lipstick over it, and it keeps it smooth and wonderful. So I used that and then I put my lipstick which was the Essence um, Mauved In 04. One of my new faves. And that's all I did. Then this is the get ready with me look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and share this on all your social media. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!